Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to bisect a line segment on GeoGebra. Um, since it's the first time, probably, that you will be using GeoGebra, I will also explain how to use some of the tools. The two tools that we are allowed to use are a line and a circle. And to create line, we need to have points. And we can intersect objects and things like that. GeoGebra has a huge set of tools, but we want to limit ourselves so that we can understand the basics of how these geometric constructions come about. So GeoGebra, if it's installed on your computer, is an oval with five dots on it in your toolbar. If it's not there, check in your start menu and start typing GeoGebra. and you can bring it up that way or you can go to geogebra.org if it is not installed yet and install it um, so it comes up like this or maybe like without the algebra part. I like the algebra. So in under view, I select algebra. I move this grid usually to the lower left. You can leave it wherever. It's really not in the way. So to create a two points, we use this tool cluster. We have different tools in there. The top one is point. So I could have just selected that because that was the one that was up. I wanted to show you the whole set. So you can see there's two points and I can hide those points and under line there's different kinds of lines. But let's do segment. And it's, oh, I'm going to come back, back out of here. Okay, now when I get over A, if I click right away, it may or may not click on A. So if I wait until it identifies point A with this little label that comes up, I hold hold it there for a minute. When point A comes up and then I click, then I can be sure it's right on. Hold on a minute. Wait till point B is, it says point B is what I think you want to select. And I say yes. So that way you can make sure you click right on those. Um, so going a little bit slower helps you make fewer mistakes. And then to create a circle, we have different kinds of circles. We want a circle with center through point. So if we hover over A until it point comes up and click on that and then drag away from that, we can click anywhere and that circle of a radius from A to C draws with the center at A. Now if I wanted to hide that I can just click on this little button there. We can hide that. Point C is not needed. So anyways go ahead and try to bisect this line segment. Cut it right in half. We don't want to use the tool that says perpendicular bisector. That would do that but we just want to use lines and circles to accomplish perpendicular bisector. Cut that line in half. So you can go ahead and pause the video, figure it out on your own. That part of the brain of figuring things out is crucial to you in the future, so we might as well start developing that here in school. That's what we're here for. So if, if you haven't found a way and you're ready for me to show you the way I do it, go ahead and Create a circle from with the center at A and go to B. Wait till B comes up before you click the second time. Wait till B comes up to click for another circle. We'll have those circles, two circles, at either end of the segment. Now I can't see where those intersect, but I can zoom out. Now there's an intersect tool under these points. It's called intersect. So if I intersect that circle and this circle 
it creates two points where those two objects intersect. You could hover over where about where those two intersect and click and you might get it right. If you use the intersect tool, you'll always get it right. So that's the why I recommend that. So it gets frustrating later on if you've made several constructions and one of them was wrong and they build on each other, so it takes a little bit longer, but it's better that way. Okay, so now we can create a segment that goes from D to E. And it should cut this line AB in half. But first of all, we need to create a point where those two intersect. So we're going to intersect to this segment and this segment. And it creates this point here, F. So now I can use a measurement tool to measure a distance from F to B and from A to F and we can see that those two distances are the same these distances show up here as well in the algebra part of it if, if things ever show, show up on underneath something or get hidden over there look on the left they may show up over here and then we can hide construction tools We want that one, we don't want that one. Well, I guess we want point F. And we can hide our two circles. They're called conics. And we can leave those measurements on there. Now, if I click on this pointer tool, I can grab one of those points and move it. And because I constructed that bisector based on point B, if I move point B, F is still in the middle. So the distance from F to either side is still equal. So that's, that's the way we can test our constructions to see if, if they work in any situation. Because you could just place a point there that is halfway in the middle, but we want it to be so that if that line changes, it stays in the middle.